So the good thing in myeloma is we have lots of drugs. The bad thing is now we have a lot of drugs and we have to figure out how to use them. The, we, what, what we currently use in patients with newly diagnosed myeloma is a combination of a proteasome inhibitor and immunomodulatory drug as the initial treatment. And that is based on very sound data from phase three trials. So that is the starting point. But what is happening is there's uh, five other phase three trials that are ongoing, which are looking at either ixazomib, elotizumab, daratumumab, and pembrolizumab uh, in, in, in combination with lenalidomide to, uh, to explore them in the setting of newly diagnosed myeloma. So right now, the initial treatment is easy because there's only one combination which we all agree on. Two or three years from now, when all the results from these trials uh, come out, then we really have a dilemma as to how we're going to use which of the combination in, in a given patient. And certainly work needs to be done. In terms of when patients relapse, I think we still have uh, a lot of choices from the phase three trials that I've already read out. So the question then uh, is, what drug is the patient coming off? So if somebody is coming off a lenal domain maintenance, we want to try and use a combination which includes a proteasome inhibitor and now with the monoclonal antibody. So a combination like daratumumab, bortezomib, dexamethasone would be a good choice. For somebody who is relapsing off bortezomib, a combination like daratumumab, lenal domain and dexamethasone would be a good choice. Similarly, an ixazomib, you know, you have ixazomib, lenal domain dex, elotizumab, lenal domain dex, and the same drugs have also been combined with, uh, with the proteasome inhibitors. So I think you have a whole gamut of permutation combination that we can use, but the guiding principle should be what drugs are they refractory to, what drugs they got before, and what are the residual toxicities from the prior therapy, and we need to factor those into the treatment decision making. We also need to look at the performance status of the patients. So if the patient's young and fit, fit then we can give them probably the more aggressive combinations. If it's a frail older patient, we may have to go with one drug or a couple of drugs. So there's a lot of variables that goes into deciding how are we going to sequence the drugs, what they got before, performance status, so patient, disease, both have to be taken into consideration.